Top 12 Places to Visit in Canada Our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Without any further delay, let's get started. Number 12. Butchart Gardens Butchart Gardens is the perfect spot to visit with a camera in hand between all the top tourist attractions in Canada. There's a lot to see and do here with an enchanting show of flowers, fun boat tours, night illuminations, and more that will make your holiday vibrant. Ready to catch any photos worthy of Instagram? This is the place to go. Number 11, St. John's. St. John's is like a mini San Francisco, known for its jelly bean looking and crayon colored houses and being an artist's retreat. Considered to be one of Canada's best cities to visit, you can discover the city with an open heart. The vibe of this place is as refreshing as that of any metro town, which is ideal for any of your holidays. Make sure if you're here or when you visit, to not forget Water Lane. Number 10, Banff and Lake Louise, Alberta. Set within the boundaries of the vast Banff National Park, one of the best places to visit in Canada is the region that surrounds the towns of Banff and Lake Louise. Here, you can find a wonderland of the Rocky Mountains, a spot of electric blue glacial lakes, waterfalls, abundant wildlife, from elk to bighorn sheep to grizzly bears and wolves, and awe-inspiring grandeur. Stay in Banff, the area's busy hub and home to classic hotels such as the the Fairmont Banff Springs, one of the largest hotels in Canada. Or pursue some peace at Lake Louise, where hiking trails and unparalleled quiet are just steps away. Number 9. Kluwani National Park, Yukon This giant national park in western Yukon, home to Canada's highest peak, Mount Logan, altitude 19,551 feet, can be seen from the sky on board a helicopter or an airplane fitted with skis, 22,000 square kilometers of blue glaciers, lush valleys, and untamed territory, which allow high altitude snow landings. Or even better, you could walk for days without seeing another human using the park's extensive network of trails. Number eight, Grimorne National Park, Newfoundland. Grimoire National Park is unquestionably one of the best places to visit in Canada, sitting on the coast of Western Newfoundland. It's a truly unique park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a place that packs an astonishing amount of geological diversity into a place that you can visit in just a few days. Coastal lowlands, towering hills, precipitous cliffs, untouched lakes, waterfalls, and even a former fjord now cut off from the ocean. Also, Grimorne is a geological marvel, a place where the mantle of the earth is exposed, clearly showing the continental drift process. Number seven, Long Beach, Tofino, British Columbia. Tofino, a charming beach town clinging to the wild west coast of Vancouver Island has been attracting surfers, nature lovers, and those with wandering souls for years. Considering its relatively remote location, dubbed the best surf town in North America by Outside Magazine. Long Beach is an almost magical place just south of the city, a large and, you guessed it, long beach of great waves and breathtaking beauty. Number six, Cavendish Beach, Prince Edward Island. There are a few better places to visit in Canada than Cavendish, a strip of reddish sand skirting cool Atlantic waters, backed by dunes and green rolling hills. But while there might be a strong urge to stay on the beach, a trip to this beach will not be complete without visiting the nearby historic sites, including the Green Gables Heritage Spot, Lucy Maud Montgomery's Muse, and home to the most popular fictional resident of the island. Number five, Bay of Fundy, New Brunswick. The tides on this wide bay, which separates New Brunswick from Nova Scotia, have recently been shortlisted in a major international competition to name seven new wonders of the natural world, making it truly one of the best places to visit in Canada. The most intense tides on earth in some areas rise and fall more than 50 feet, 
Here are some more mind-boggling facts about Canada. The most intense tides on Earth in some areas rise and fall more than 50 feet. At a location like Hopewell Rocks, these can be seen most dramatically. Unusual stone structures that form towers on dry land at low tide, but become bona fide islands as the water rises. It's nothing short of a Canadian rite of passage to witness the deluge firsthand. Number four, Churchill, Manitoba. This subarctic region, located on the shores of Hudson Bay, has gained international fame as the world's polar bear capital and is rightfully renowned as one of Canada's best places to visit. The bears are so abundant, the city now has a polar bear prison, housing wayward bears that come into the city before they can be released back into the wild. Seen on foot, from the air, or from a boat, local tour companies travel into the mouth of the Churchill River in the Zodiacs. It's an incredible opportunity to meet a polar bear in the wild. Number three, the Muskoka Lakes, Ontario. The Muskoka Lakes were named after the chief of the Ojibwe, Meskauki, who had settled here with his people after helping the British during the War of 1812. The area was then open to tourism in 1860, when two hikers made a two-day trek from Toronto to a small Ojibwe settlement in what is now the town of Gravenhurst. The main access towns to the Muskoka Lakes, Gravenhurst, Bracebridge and Huntsville, are stretched along Highway 11. No one has much to offer to a passing visitor, with the notable exception of the Aspen Valley Wildlife Sanctuary near Huntsville, and you're much better off either heading to one of the luxury hotel resorts in the area or befriending a Canadian-owned cottage. Number 2. CN Tower, Toronto Although its luster has faded somewhat as the records it once held have tumbled at the feet of taller towers in the Middle East, this essential Toronto attraction, formerly the tallest freestanding structure on Earth, is at 1,815 feet, still one of the best places to visit in Canada. In fact, the allure of a visit here is perhaps greater than ever, especially if you've yet to brave the vertigo-inducing glass floor and the installation of extra entertainment entertainment features, such as the edge walk, which dares people to walk along the abyss on a five foot wide span atop the tower's main observation deck, 116 stories above the ground. Number 1. Quebec City the oldest walled city in North America, along with its unmistakably French-Canadian character, Quebec City retains both European elegance and sophistication. It also carries the distinction of being the location where Wolfe defeated Montcalm on the Plains of Abraham, winning Canada for the British Empire, as any good Canadian history student knows. Home to the legendary Chateau Frontenac, a hotel that welcomes royal guests, poutine, the ultimate Canadian dish, and of course, the world famous Winter Carnival, the capital of La Belle Province still has plenty to do, see, and eat. What do you think is the best place on our list? Which one seems the nicest? Leave us a comment below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.